tonight. Baskets. The height on those basket tosses. Giving Germany a run for their money, right? Totally. Everybody was out in front getting the audience involved. are exceptionally difficult and different way to get into that hand in hand up to the top pulling that stretch oh my gosh beautiful ripple basket tosses <laughs> there we go <laughs> gorgeous split falls Girls on the shoulders. <gasps> okay. She wasn't totally ready. And they're trying to regroup here. This is tough to get all back yeah. on the same count. She wasn't totally ready for her to be rewound up to that pyramid. Unbelievable height on the basket tosses and the, the skills, the tricks in the basket tosses, just really well done. Yeah, another one of those countries, the size of Canada, they can't get together and practice as much as some of these smaller countries get the chance to do, but they did say we make the most of those three camps we have during the year to build, build, and then work together. Here's another look at that basket. Yeah, the height, she tucks, she X's out and does a full as she comes down. In this final pyramid, they've got three girls in shoulder straddles. They rewind two more girls up there. It didn't quite get them high enough to, to be at the, um, at the elbow level by their side, but they held on. You want to be up there, don't you? The five of them look like they're having a ball. It's a party we all want to be invited to. <laughs> I wonder how much of a party they're having backstage as well. That's the thing, you know, Taylor gives them right as they come off. Sometimes the emotions, the energy, even the exhaustion takes over. Let's see how Canada sits now after their finish. 
That's right, Amy. All of the emotions back here, but most of all, they're proud of their performance. These pyramids this year, really, you guys have stepped it up so much. I want to talk about that tower in the middle. I think you might be in, in that pyramid. You do a hand in hand, and then you pop it through. Talk, me, talk to me about that. You know, uh, it was actually something we threw together at one of our last training camps. Um, and yeah, like you said, we've been trying to level up as much as we can this year. Uh, regardless of how the finest details, you know, we, we tried to step it up a new game, and I think we definitely did that without any question, and we're very proud of what we did, not just today, but all season. And you really improved in your stunts as well. I think I saw some full twisting rewinds in there, and you guys do such a good job. Talk about what was different about the choreography and the prep this year. We started our season earlier, uh, we trained harder, uh, and we just, we decided that we were, aim we were going to start aiming higher, and uh, that's exactly what we did, and I think we accomplished it. Um, you know, we said yesterday, there's a line in our anthem that says, uh, with glowing hearts we see the rise, and it's been a really passionate and inspired year, and the rise is what we're trying to do is lift Canadian cheerleading, uh, show people what's possible, hopefully inspire some more level seven across the country, uh, and keep building this into the incredible program that it is. And speaking of Canadian cheerleading, you guys have a lot of fans from Canada who have traveled here to cheer you guys on. What do you want to say to all of them? They're already going wild <laughs> once again. Thank you. We love you and we do it all for you guys. It means the world to us. Way to go, Team Canada, a crowd favorite.